Hello there and welcome back to another episode in our Timberborn series. So, in this one, quick uh, overview of what we've done in the last one. We got our forestry running pretty nicely over here. Let's put the speed on the second, uh, second one as well. Alright, the food is... I'd say it's okay. It's not the worst, but it's also not the best. So for this one, we built our second farm. We do want to do some potatoes over here. But it seems we just don't have enough beavers just yet to uh, really get this get this going. Right, so what's happening over here? You are unable to get all required materials. And that is because we don't have potatoes, I'm, I'm assuming. Yep, it does look like so. You guys are focusing on carrots. What if we set you to none and just harvest whatever you can? I have highlighted these to be destroyed because I'd like to place down a little more like a space efficient temporary building I guess I mean it's gonna stay here for quite some time but in the long run it's gonna have to go right so here's what we do warehouse at the bottom and we are gonna have the grill at the top so here you go grilled potatoes off you go lovely now our next thing to increase our population <laughs> what do we need? Oh yeah, I do want to start doing, before I forget, I'd like to have a slightly bigger tank over here. Just to uh, future-proof ourselves, but we are going to need some gears for that. So for the gears, we do have enough science and we can unlock you. Okay, so there we go. Here's what we can do. We're going to pause this one for the time being. But the gear workshop is going to go here. It is connected, power should be flowing through, and uh, I think we'll be okay. It's a bit of a dead space over here, but that's okay. I'm sure in the future these roads are going to change quite a bit. Now, we do have the gears. They should be able to build this uh, water storage over there pretty soon. Now, next thing we need is <laughs> more water production. That's for... Oh, uh, okay. I think we may have a problem over here. Let's close this. Let's, um. Yeah, if we place the water tank just over here, then that means we can do. Yep, that should work a little bit better. Let's just pause you for a second. We don't need you that fast. Let's uh, speed up the time as well. And I think this is the area where I would love to start doing some triple lodges do have the signs we don't have a lot of blanks hmm what's happening with you oh yeah we should probably make some haulers as well because you are gonna have well you're running right now and bringing logs into this house so um hmm when it comes to the triple lodge oh that was quite a bit of science actually yeah we can do something like this over here then another one or maybe that seems to fit here pretty nicely. Or if we want to save some space for the roads. And uh, this is a bit more space efficient. This one locks us out, but we could always remove one of them from here. And place another one like so. Yep, I think I'm liking this a little bit better. Although the roads might look a little bit awkward over here. But let's see. Let's build this over here. Let's see what happens. Then, uh, yeah, next one could go literally over here with some decorations. This one could go back to back. And then we can do another one somewhere here as well. A few trees growing. Let's see. Pine trees are pretty nice, so they could be right over there. I guess we'll have some roads going through. You can go here. Let's pause you for a second. We're just measuring this out, really. And will you look at that? Yeah, I think this is pretty good. So we have a road going around here. Maybe just one way. Maybe they can come down as well. Build a little platform over here. Yep, no good selected. I think in here we wanted to have some ready-made potatoes. Yep, let's fill it up with the... With the potatoes over there. We're taking down that one. We have access now. Okay, so you were complaining you don't have materials, so we can probably pause you for the time being. Now, what's going on with the potatoes? Okay, we've got a few over here. 
Now, access-wise, I see what the problem is. Okay. So you guys are going to... Oh. That sort of blocked us in here. Okay, I think we have a bit of a solution over here. So, we are going to have to clear out some of those plants. But the only way we can do it is if they climb down first. So yeah, we do need a bit of a staircase over here. Let them go down, clear it up. And the same thing is going to happen at the top. And to the other side, because I think once we have those uh, ladders and stairs in, we should be able to plant a few things here as well. Now, unfortunately, yes, at the top it's not very useful. But I'm thinking to relocate farms into these, these zones and areas. So for example, this farm could go somewhere about here. Could be fine, because we can always do stairs and the road like so as well. Once these berries are gone, we can place roads here. And, well, if we actually change those things around, let's just cancel all this. Let's try it one more time. This seems to be a bit more fertile area. So a farm might be more suitable right at the top over there. It seems we have another great news. The first oaks are 97% done. Which means very soon we'll have a juicy little forest growing or ready in this location and well don't really need you here all of you guys you can go and do something else as well i think there's some other charms where we would prefer to have a bit of extra help okay now priority wise this is going in what else we do have that okay that's great we can probably start making some cures here as well but i think what we need more is actually those blanks. Now, to future-proof ourselves, I do like some... Oh, wait a second. I was going to say symmetrical things. Give you a slightly higher priority, but we don't really know what we want to do on that side. I have a feeling it would be nice to climb up from here and keep it fairly... <laughs> but there's not much that can happen there. So anyways, here's where we can improve our production a little bit. So let's say, let's give you a slightly lower priority once again. Yep, there we go. And we can have a few platforms. Maybe one more. Okay. So hear me out. That's, oh, access wise again, that's not really the best solution. Do you know what? Yeah, let's do it this way. These two can go here. That's where the power flows. And we do already have the stairs from this side. Maybe some more decorations. It's um, not the most efficient way, but do you know what? I think we're okay with this. Well, you look at that. We do have a couple unemployed beavers that would love to work for us. Now, what shall we do with them? I think we know. That is going to be the hauling post. And um, <laughs> I believe the location is going to be here. If we could have someone empty this lovely little house and done. All right, be this hauling post right over there. That should be the uh, top priority. It seems that everything's growing pretty slow right now. So I thought, okay, yeah, everyone's waiting for blanks. So what we've done is quick priority shift over here. Highest priority for the wheel. Next one's going to be the, the lumber mill. And then the second one. And then eventually we'll get the third one running as well. Just keeping an eye on things right now. Seeing how quickly can they have this built. Uh, do we have enough builders? Oh, okay. Off you go. Yeah, we do have a few. Wow, unemployed. Quite a, quite a few guys over there. Builders hut. That would be useful as well. I think we have a few, few things that need doing right now where shall you go that's gonna block some valuable space uh, I think here would be great we can play around with those roads a little bit as well 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 look at that the oaks have finally fully matured which is great the forester is up and running well still running but one thing we don't have is let's have some more lumberjacks I think we should probably do a few more sort of places to uh, all, all those large piles over here as well. We don't want them to sit and do nothing over here. 
Okay, great news. Our second lumber mill is now, well, almost functional. It seems we lack the beavers to get the job done. Uh, okay, fine. I don't want to take anyone away from the science. That needs to be running 24-7. Well, not really 24, but close enough. All right, quite a few construction plans have been made. Now, let's not lose track of our... Uh, let's see, our well-being as well. So, the best way to do it is going to be quite boring. But we shall have a couple just like so. Oh dear, okay, so to get up here, that's not very good, is it? We, we might need a ladder here, actually. These beavers are going to be unhappy, though. Another one shall be built right in the middle over here. After that... Oh, okay. I forgot again. We probably need to... Let's remove this one. And I think this is the brilliant location to throw a ladder just like so. It's going to get a little bit tricky, but bear with me. Here we go. They can climb up, go to those rooftop terraces. Okay, it seems another trout is arriving soon in about three days. I don't think the first few trouts were very big, so I believe we are not too worried right now, at least. Okay, we do have the stairs. That means they should be able to climb down very soon. We'll change those roads around a little bit. Yeah, there's a lot of space here that we could use to put some more potatoes down. But first, you guys are going to have to. Right about here is where we need the lumberjack as well. Okay, they can go up and over. Yeah, it's gonna make this axis a little bit worse, but let's see. Let's see what happens. Not so bad, actually. Oh, yeah. There we go. And much better. Range is pretty good from both sides. Bit of an overlap as well, and is anyone gonna cut those out once it's done? I think we will be pretty, pretty good with the potatoes. Now, the next thing, of course, we could have some beehives here as well. But for that, we are going to need some paper. And for paper, do we have gears already? Ooh, this might be the first gear, although I think they already have... Oh yeah, a lot of them. Well, quite a few of them there. Now, power-wise, you guys are producing about 250. Demand is 50. Okay, I see. Which means we can do another gear house, can't we? I believe so. Yep, you can go there. We don't have any spare beavers right now, but things are looking okay. Oh no, the drought started. I think water-wise, we're we're fine. Production-wise, everything's gonna come to a halt. So that's probably the next thing we should think about. This is not good enough for us. And manual power is an option, but that's gonna be a little bit annoying to manage as well. So why don't we... Uh-oh. Science points. How many do we need? 1,400. Oh dear. Okay. I think we can um, pause most of those buildings so we have a few spare beavers now. And the only sensible thing is... <laughs> Let's have a look at the science. 1,000 for you. But we are going to need the resin. Which comes from... It comes from those trees, isn't it? Okay. Change of priorities, everyone. We shall, we shall no longer be cutting down all of those trees. We're going to need the resin. Yep. The rest of you, though, I think we are a-okay. Yeah, these ones are almost done as well, so that's looking lovely. Okay, I think we have a bit of a plan. So, if I remember correctly, those small ones, it's better to skip them. It's pretty much waste of resources, so uh, yeah, let, let's go for the big ones. We almost have the science that we need. However, paper. Paper is the uh, first resource that we need to produce, and for that, well, we uh, think we can if we change something around. So let's open the paper mill. Right, so the problem we have right now is the power. However, trout has ended. Okay, so... Right, right, right. In here, it seems we could already plop one down. 
Okay, off you go, connect it, highest priority, and we'll have one worker with the highest priority as well. Okay, so we don't have the uh, workers just yet, but something we can do is, let's take the gears from here. So we cancel the uh, construction, which means they can grab the gears, bring them into this building here, the paper mill. And then um, I guess all we can do is rebuild this once again. Yeah, it's uh, it's not been going very well for this uh, this water storage unit, but do you know what? Sometimes plans change. Can you guys hurry up, please. It's it's got the highest priority. I mean, what else are you guys doing? It's more of you here, but you're lazy. No storage space available gears. Do we need to have storage base for them first? Oh, here you guys are a pain. Okay. Which building is the right one though? That's the question. Let's have a quick look over here. Nope, this one doesn't take the gears, so this one over here and highest priority. I think that should fix it. Right? bring the trash into this one it's filled and now you can take the gears to the other side right so the first side of the forest seems to be done let's pause those buildings over here and what we can do now is we wanted to build one over there let's unpause you and we can have a couple of beavers harvesting this area okay yeah that's definitely looking looking very lovely now what we also want to do is clear up this zone over here and I'd like to maybe start producing a bit of power in this zone as well now how high are you and oh okay there's metal in this zone too so yeah we'll start slowly making our way not to town town but expanding yeah to the um to the next dam that we can build here hopefully you all got the got the reference to the song as well but uh but yeah okay so this seems to be production area it seems to be quite good we've got the paper that's full we've um, done another medium warehouse over here and uh, i think we do have the science for oh yeah the large window here we go i think they needed to be like two apart you are taking 20 gears, 40 blanks. Oh, wow. Okay, I think we changed those things around a little bit. I think this is going to be the first large windmill. And then we'll have another four over here. So all we have to do now is build this platform, windmill on top. And since there's not going to be any more, all we have to do is bring the power down, maybe cross over somewhere around here. And then we can just bring it down and connect it. And after that, it actually would be lovely and smart if we bring it over and connect it with this one as well. Yeah, that would be smart if we had enough planks, which I think we would do, surprisingly. Oh no, we do have the first beaver that is injured. This reminds me, we should probably think about medicine looking after our beavers. So, okay, let's stick the first one there. Now, hmm. <laughs> Not the decorations. What do we have? Mod bath, carousel, healer. Okay, that's what we need. But to build the healer, we're going to need some metal. Okay. Where are the ruins? So there's one castle over here. Next one over there. One over there. Oh dear. I think they would heal themselves in the medical beds as well, don't they? A spot where sick beavers come to rest performs better when supplied with medicine, but it's not a must, so... Yeah, um, look, I, the way I see it, it's it's sad, but at least you have a medical bed. So, why don't you just sleep there for a little bit? And then, um, maybe the next thing we'll focus on is uh, go and grab some some metal from, from that side. Oh, but for that, we're gonna need Oh yeah, dry land. Dry land to place the scavenger flag. So that's a whole different set of logistics in in this side. Maybe we'll leave it for the next episode. But for now, I think everything... Oh dear, there's another one. Why are you guys getting sick? Should we maybe decrease your work time? Too reckless. Here we go, let's build another one as well. 
And in the meanwhile, it seems we got our first large windmill that's now constructed. And the same with the medium tank over here. So, well done, everyone. Yeah, I guess you can take a bit of a break. Now, whilst we are waiting for the science to go up, we should uh, perhaps take a look at their well-being as well. So, injury, obviously not great. Wet fur is something we could do pretty easily. Food would be nice to improve as well, but that means we're going to have to expand the some of the sections. Campfire, I'm surprised it's this low. Maybe they just don't have enough time. Aesthetics is pretty easy. Monuments. Um, <laughs> and these things. Okay. Let's have a look at the monuments. Oh, so these have changed. That's the farmer monument. Razier of bonding. Okay. Uh oh. And the fountain of joy. Oh, wow. Okay. The straps are pretty, pretty easy. And if it gives, uh, improves our well-being... I am more than happy to place a few. Now the next question is let's let's do one over here. Okay, you guys are always running in this area as well, so probably somewhere there. Let's have a look. I think somewhere on one of those corners here. It will be it will be good as well. Let's do one over there, okay. And then it's a good construction zone though. Maybe this one for the time being. And then this one here. Oh, we can also do... Yeah, this is looking good. Okay, I think we can be quite happy with uh, with the shrubs. So what are we doing next? And we've got the power. Well, not quite, but it should be pretty easy to connect it up in the, in the future. Uh, let's have a look. Decorations. There's something new over here. Oh, we can build a hedge now. Wow. Okay. Shower would be nice and cheap as well. Same with the shrine. The problem, however, is I think we are uh, pretty full out oh here. Another trout is arriving. So let's do a couple of shrines just like so. I do want the shower as well. The, uh, I think it's about time you guys start cleaning cleaning yourselves okay two over here that's not bad at all do another one here as well but let's let's start with the two first and we'll, we'll see how it goes okay the trout has started 3.9 days once again so that should be should be all good we've got a few more beavers working in the farms just want to make sure that the food stays as high as we can I think cooked potatoes yep we're almost maxed out. But uh, let's see what else is happening here. So power shortages. But I think we are... Oh yeah, look at that. We are fully connected. We just need these bits here completed as well. As soon as this uh, last straight power shaft is done, that means we can work on both, both sides. So what's happening over here? We probably need those blunts gone. Not the, not the last one. Oh yeah, it's all dried up now. Getting down here will be will be fantastic. But uh, something we should start thinking about as well is how shall we, um, or what shall we do with all those lakes? Now, of course, some of them it would be nice to leave them as they are. But I mean, the central one. I think that's going to be a lot of platforms and bridges over here. Because there's no reason why we need to go down here. No, there isn't. So that's fantastic. Yeah, I think we're going to have to bring a lot, if not most, of the production units into the middle here instead. And uh, maybe plan out how we want to cross over and how we want to do those. I can foresee that we're going to need quite a lot of resources for this. Especially blank, so I'm a little worried about this stock that we have. But we've got the power... I think supply, oh, not the uh, not the best, but I think we know why. Okay, here you go. And uh, once it's going through 80, you're producing 80 as well. Okay, so yeah, moving the town more into the middle with the housing units. I'd like the farms to be around and just, you know, supplying the town in the middle here. I also think, well, here, we're going to have to dry this place up a little bit. 
maybe build it like a little fortress around and connect it with the with the bridges but um, another option what we can do it would be a very huge construction project but we could pretty much dry up this whole lake in here and uh, maybe have a four wide river system or canal that goes along the side exits over here and then same on this side as well yeah that's definitely something we could do it doesn't have to be four wide on both sides it can be three or two on one side two on the other this might be more uh, reasonable actually yeah it is gonna take a lot of logs though but i don't think that's a problem because uh, we can always expand our oak farm i mean it's going really nicely already oh forgot to highlight you guys for harvesting but yeah let me know what your thoughts are and uh, you can definitely start planning out what we shall do with the with some of those lakes i mean with the middle bit as i just said as well i think i have a pretty good idea already and then uh, with the rest i'm trying to look for like interesting features on this map as well but it's just lakes really it would be cool to build something something grand on this map maybe like even in the middle okay so i think we've made some pretty good progress in this episode we've got a lovely little little expansion of our production zone we've got some windmills in as well and some bigger tanks for water as well so uh, as the droughts start getting longer and longer i think we're quite nicely prepared now so our next steps let's see what we can do with some of those lakes we should start going for the metal as well Stocking up on the on the logs, maybe we have to expand the oak farm a little bit further. And then uh, I think maybe trying to increase, we got the well-being to like 10 or 11 now. But it would be great to start, try, to start trying to increase this even further with some food decorations and other things too. So um, yeah, thank you so much for watching this episode and um, I hope we see you again in the next one.